We have somebody else in the studio, and it goes by the name DTAC. Singer, songwriter, performer, and producer. Over the years, he has embraced various musical styles and reinvented as he made true music. He officially began his singing career in 2012 where, when he started rapping and making music with some group of friends. He has performed in various singing competitions as a child and emerged in the finals. Well, we'll find out. His first experience into music um, creation was in 2009. He was just 10 years old when he started experimenting with various disc jockey software. He went from show to show playing in parties as a DJ and yes I think I'm just, he, has, he has a very lengthy bio but no. I think I'm just gonna stop there because that caught my attention you know having that background of being welcome to the show by the way DTAC how you doing today Looking fly, super fly. Yeah, <laughs> you know the vibes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have one of the biggest songs of 2022. How does that make you feel? Oh, I feel great. I feel great. Mm. I feel blessed. Working mm. with Victor AD, where do you always complain? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know to complain on your song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, but you're not into into the complaint, have you? No, I, I don't know that part. <laughs> Wait till we get. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, we said it in the song as well. Uh, but sure. there's also one other song that he said. Uh, what's that one? That one with David Doe. Now, what's that? Victor okay. Eddie and David Doe. Uh, now, I still complain, mm -hmm. You shall get the vibe. I if I give you like four of Victor Eddie songs, my body always complain. They always <laughs> yeah. shout to it God. Sound, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, but yeah, how does that make you feel, you know, working with Victor Eddie, you know, working mm -hmm. on new projects? And it's 2021, baby. How yeah, does that 2021. Make you feel? I feel great. More projects coming out. Trust me. Like, I've been recording, I've been making music. I you know I produce my music as well. So, Trust me, every song coming out from DTAC is going to be a hit wow. back to back. Okay. Trust me, if you've been following up the brand DTAC, you know what I'm saying. So, mm -hmm. you know the vibes. Okay, <laughs> checking your bio, I, re I saw that you're a music producer, yeah. you're an artist, um, you write your own songs, and yeah. you're also a DJ one. I used to be a DJ. Yeah, you, yes, that's why I said you're, yeah. you're also a DJ one. So, I just want to ask, when did this love for music develop? I really want to know the background. It just, how did you develop? Yeah, it just started to me. I was young okay. and I just love listening to music. From an early age, I love mm. listening to music. So when I was in secondary school, that's JS1, okay. I had this group of friends. We just used to be in the class. When there's nothing doing, we'd just be playing, drumming, yeah. singing. We used to be the class noise makers. <laughs> yeah. okay. We'd drumming, singing. So they had the talent show in the school and we we're like okay let's just drum and sing so we did what we could do and from there i just started taking it serious and we started mm -hmm. vibing and i started making music okay interesting all right so um you know making music is something that comes with a lot of challenges especially Definitely. when you're, you're an emerging artist in the Definitely. industry what are some of the challenges you would say um you faced i know you have a very solid brand behind you as well which is skills you, you yeah. work with skills mm -hmm. yeah, the yeah. time, right? so yeah um how would you say uh, i mean what are some of the challenges you face in the industry first of all people don't believe when you start people don't believe okay this guy's just playing he's just joking mm -hmm. you get it don't really take you serious till you take yourself serious mm -hmm. so uh, first of all you have to take yourself serious then second of all, the challenge you face is funding because you have to get your music to get your music out there. You have to get your music out there. Sure, okay. you understand, and you have to fund it. So another challenge is first, believe people don't believe in you. Second, okay. the funding. So these two challenges have been major challenges. Okay. That's what I see. Nice, all right, nice, all right. Nice, nice. So um, aside that, right? Uh, aside from people not taking you seriously, yeah. there's this issue of comparison when they begin to say your sound sounds like, like this, this yeah. person. Yeah. 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 Sound yeah. like this always, well, and there's always a bigger brand that sounds better than your sound. Yeah, it might not even yeah. sound better, but it's a bigger brand. True, and true people that, will true always that. buy into that. That was have also, you faced that and yeah. who would you say they are comparing you with? First when I started, that was one challenge I had as well. Mm -hmm. They said I sounded like Wiz Kid. Because mm. I used to love Wiz Kid music. I listened to his album, I used to love him. So I actually was sounding, I knew and okay. the thing about this thing is you have to tell yourself the truth. When they say I sounded like whiskey, I listen to my music and okay, yeah, I actually sound. So I had to work on my sound. So it was actually a challenge as well. Mm -hmm. All right. So for me, there can only be one star boy because you, you know, know me. Yeah. I am I'm a star oh, boy yeah. see for life. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we're about to find out if this young man over here sounds like a whiskey uh, or not. I don't sound so, like whiskey anymore. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Let the people decide. <laughs> you know, yes, you can send your message to 0906 and let us know if you think d sounds like whiskey and you should change the star. <laughs> or d should keep doing his thing. And let's watch a quick video from d my man. Thank you. 